in today's lecture, we will quickly discuss the numericals of resolving power of a grating and dispersive power. So the formula for resolving power is uh, lambda upon d lambda is equal to n into n where small n is your order of spectra. Capital N is total number of lines on the grating. This formula is also equal to a plus b into sine theta capital N upon lambda where a plus b is the grating element capital N total number of lines on the grating and lambda the wavelength. For normal incidence of light a plus b sine theta is equal to n into lambda. One conversion which you will require a lot in the numericals is one angstrom is equal to 10 to the power of minus 10 meter is equal to 10 to the power of minus 8 centimeter. Then resolving power is maximum when angle is 90 degrees, so sine 90 becomes 1. So the formula for resolving power becomes lambda upon d lambda for maximum is equal to n into a plus b upon lambda. Now, let us begin with the numericals quickly. As you can see in this uh, numerical, what have you been asked? At the second order, obtain the design of plane. Okay, so let the grating have n lines, then lambda upon d lambda is equal to n into n. Put the values, grating design must have 500 lines per inch. Plane transmission grating has 15,000 lines per inch. You have to find out the resolving power for second order. So N will become equal to 2. Capital N they have given us 15,000 lines. And the smallest wavelength difference, simple formula. As 16,000 lines, find in wavelength region of 6,000 times from in second order, resolving power and smallest wavelength difference. Exactly similar to the numerical we discussed right now. Number of lines per inch is equal to 1 upon grating element. Length of ruled grating is 5 inches. Total number of lines n is equal to 5 into 16,000. D lambda is so much, so resolving power becomes equal to this. A diffraction grating is just able to resolve two lines of wavelength so much in the first order. Will it resolve the lines in the second order? Grating will not be able to resolve the lines in the spectral order because the required resolving power is greater than actual resolving power. Show that for transmission grating with one inch ruled space, resolving power cannot exceed this much. See, resolving power is it now for normal incidence. Formula becomes this. Resolving power is maximum if theta is 90 degree or sine 90 is 1. So... 1 inch is 2.54 centimeter. You use this formula for your practicals also. The value you get. Light of wavelength so much falls on the grating normally. Two adjacent principal maxima occurs so much. Calculate the grating element. 